Good morning, everybody. Tracy here from Uniquely Creative. Today, I am finally getting a chance to play with our beautiful new Christmas collection, which is called Days of December. I'm going to do a layout. I'm going to scrapbook this beautiful photo of Pearl. This was just uh, Christmas a couple of years ago. I think she was four here. Um, and I want to scrap it with this collection. I have been wanting to play with it for ages. So I fussy cut out a whole bunch of little bits from all the papers in here. And yeah, let's uh, see what we can come up with. Okay, I'm going to use this one as my background, which is this one here, which is Countdown. It's going to take the barcode strip off. Ooh, I haven't cut any of them out yet. I really like this page. That's packaging. Might make these into banners. I love the green chains. Oh, that's this one. I really like these. Keep them for some cards I want to make. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, I am going to make banners out of these, I think. So to make a banner, I'm just going to fold it in half and cut back up. Hey, I've got stripes to follow. I'll just follow one. Cute banner. Just want to get the similar sort of angle. Now I'm like, do I distress or don't I distress? Visual. Look, I'm a bit of a distress. I love distressed edges. So I think I'm going to just distress all the edges on this one very quickly, including the outside page. light edge distress I'm doing, nothing too big. Lucky last. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to glue those down with my 450 glue. Okay, I think I want this 25, so like it's Christmas Day 25. I'm just going to use my circle to cut that out. I also really like some of these. I think I want that one, so I'm just going to cut this strip. I like some of those words too, and I really like this. I'm just going to use this uh, my die cutting machine to very quickly die cut out my 25. All right, I've got my 25. I think I'm just gonna glue my photo down and then I'm going to just use some of my floral elements and some of the other elements to decorate this page up. I'm also, I think, going to just quickly cut out the tickets from the cut apart sheet with the die. This is just the one on the back of the um, cover. 
And I want to cut these as well, I think. So the ticket is on essential dye number two. Okay, tickets are cut out. Put my dye away straight away so I don't lose it. And these are the small tags from essential dyes number three. I just used a little piece of washi tape to hold my dye in place. Okay, because I'm a distresser, I'm gonna lightly distress the edges of my tickets. And they do fold up like proper tickets with the little holes in them and you can tear them and whatnot. I'm gonna stick this guy here, make Christmas memories, cause that's just perfect. And here's my little tub of fussy cut flowers. So let's see what we've got. Maybe we put some flowers down first. I'm just going to put some flowers in first and then I'm going to lay my tickets on top. I'm going to just chop this one in half because I want some of that on the top so it kind of looks like it's going around. I've got a whole half of one I can use somewhere else now. Just want to add some layer in just after some foam amounts. Like creating some height and depth within my layers. Just gonna do it here. And I'm gonna raise up this little guy here. Just creating some depth with some layers and some colour with the cute little berries. Do the same over here. Berries. More foliage. Cute. Now this is actually left over. Where did I put that? Here, yeah, magical. These are just left over from my card making kit. I'm going to trim this one down too. Put it on this side, just creating con consistency. This side, this side, this side, this side, kind of thing. I want to pop this up on mounts, I think. Over the side. A little bit of glue. Oh, I like the stars. I'm just going to cut out this little tag that says remember. I think this was in the card making uh, six by six pad because this was all of my leftovers because I made those first and they're not going to go to waste. I love them. And we'll mount this up because we need some height and texture down here. I want to use the stars because I want to use these out of the kit because I really like them. Tip a few silver stars out. I haven't glued that there yet, but I'm going to. I did use the other half of this is on one of my cards from the card making kit. I do know that. I remember using it. Q. 
cute. So many of these stars in the bag. I think I'm done. I think I'm done with this one. I really like just how simple and pretty it is. So I think we're going to call it a day on this layer. And I have got lots of other little bits and pieces I can use to make another one. So thanks for watching, guys. This is my first uh, layer I've made with Days of December. Till next time. Bye. Bye.